ladies could evolve. That's interesting. Oh my god! Oh, oh Hitchcock, you <laughs> overeager motherfucker! <laughs> oh no! Why? Oh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Sparky can just get leveled up as we, uh, go about our storyline stuff. Yeah. So. All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Player Guides. My name is Cameron. I'm Hannah. And I'm Osprey. Osprey's on the sticks. We're playing more Brilliant Diamond today. Uh, it's only been a couple days since our last recording because we wanted to check out some nighttime Pokemon on New Year's Eve and we realized there aren't as many interesting nighttime Pokemon before the end game. Um, so we currently have, I believe Osprey's got like four out of six slots on the final team settled out. Um, and we are in the process of, we're going to go look for a Blue Shellos, a Routes, and then possibly a... Uh, flying Pokemon replacement for a Staravia, maybe. Um, do you have any preferences in your flying types? I remember you mentioned something about Swablu, which would be sweet because it's flying dragon. I've, yeah, um, a lot of the role that Altaria would play is kind of taken over by um, Gardevoir. Oh! Oh, hey! Well, that was fast. Yep. <laughs> Actually, apparently, during the daytime, it's a 40% chance for Blue Shellos to appear. But during... Um, I'm going to be bad and just throw a Pokeball, see if we can get this done quickly. If not, I'll do this properly. Yeah. Um, it's actually like a 50% chance at night as opposed to a 40% chance during the night. Oh, hey! Oh, hey! Oh. Even faster, so we're, we're probably going to cut and come right back at a Routes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, right. What are we nicknaming? The last one we named was Shelly. Yeah, um, he's... Slugathar. Think... Wait. What? Because he's not... He technically doesn't have a shell. He He's a slug. He's not a snake. <sighs> that feels more like a commentary than a nickname. Instead of Ishmael, what about Is Snail? What about Louie? Cameron. <laughs> Louie? Yeah. And the suggestion is Louie. Uh, French Louie. I like it. <laughs> Name him Louis the 20... Hold on. Let's see what the last King Louie was. There we go. Louis the Seventeenth. Yeah, I was gonna say I saw you sent the response back, and then I was like, "Oh, you're up early." And then I saw your message, and I was like, "Oh, you just didn't go to bed." <laughs> All right, Manaphy, it's been fun. You can retire for a little while. Enjoy what I like, um, and I guess we haven't really talked about this. Um, boxes in Pokemon have like little themes, so you can, in your imagination, it's like you're sending your Pokemon into like a little virtual resort area. Instead of just, like, in the PC. Do you know what yep. I mean? Yeah, I like to think of it as they're going to a little playground. Yeah. Like at how in the Pokemon anime, like, when Ash sent stuff to the box, it just went to, like, uh, Professor Oak had, like, like, essentially a theme park for Pokemon to, like, go enjoy and hang out in. I know we don't need it for the party, but look at Elekid! We caught one when I was playing, a. Uh... Ultra Moon? Yeah, he's a pretty cute guy. Ooh, what do we got? We got Defense Up. I think that's pretty good for a Shellos. Ancient Power. That's not bad. Ralph. Gengar. There he is. Oh, Ralph. fast. Ralph, Easy Ralph, peasy. Ralph, Ralph. We maybe even... We probably didn't even cut all that much. Um, Lucario. Surfetched. Oh, God. And then a Draco Vish. Ugh. What's uh, a right, Draco Vish? It's one of those hybrid, uh, not hybrid, um, uh, chimera fossil Pokemon. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna do the throw a Pokeball, see if it works. If not, I'll do it properly. Yes. Sounds and routes, like is it like Abra where it'll teleport away or no? It'll, it just... Some of them no teleport. Gotcha. Please don't. No. Confused. Ah, it's fine. Ba -do, ba -do. Annoying, but do -do 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 -do. it works. 
And of course it has synchronized. Yes. I gotta think because of a nickname for this guy. She she ends up looking very elegant. Is this okay. a female? Yeah. Okay. So you know how you can tell? No. Okay. So you see the uh, name and then the circle with the female symbol? Oh yeah, I can tell there. I thought you meant like when the when the when right. The, I thought you meant something with the like, a on Pokemon. The Pokemon. No, I was just looking at the data on the screen. Yeah, oh. we weren't looking. No, we because when when I, <laughs> I I was looking up at the screen, it was in the middle of a battle animation, so I couldn't see the symbol. <laughs> Aha! Nice. Okay, so Routes has a sexual uh, evolution, right? Like uh, guys can be evolved into. Um, well, that oh. was. That's okay. That's... We can send out our. Uh, is Hitchcock our chunkiest boy right now? Probably. He's the fully evolved one that's been with the party the longest. Yeah. Probably has the most HP. Well, yeah, it's slightly longer than Houdini, but. Probably. I just don't have a great way to. Well, actually, Tackle should work pretty well for weakening it. Uh, because Ralph's level is like, what, 32? 33. 33. So it's not like a huge delta. And yeah, Ralph, tackle's not a crazy move. Rude. Okay, so Ash's original Pokemon. Oh, wait, before I go back to that, okay. Osprey, you were telling us about Ralph's. Um... Evolution. Yeah, bisex. Uh, yeah, guys can evolve into Galade, which is a psychic fighting. All routes can evolve into Gardevoir, um, which is fairy psychic. Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought it was like Salandit, where like when it was first introduced, it only only the the ladies could evolve. That's interesting. Oh my god! Oh, oh Hitchcock, you over eager motherfucker! <laughs> oh no! Why? <laughs> I even threw. Guys, did I do good? Hitchcock did good. <laughs> That's our starting scene for sure. <laughs> that was good. Uh... <laughs> well, so, just so y'all know, um, <laughs> uh, Gardevoir oh, is one of the one of my favorite Pokemon to have with me on a team. Interesting. Is it her visual design or something mechanical? Um, <laughs> some of it is I really like the elegance uh, in the design. Yes. Secondly, um, I have a lot of fond memories of uh, catching one in Emerald and running with Gardevoir as kind of one of my main sweepers. Yeah. Through she, Emerald. She does have a really elegant design here. Hannah, let me show you while Osprey is talking. How do I spell that? Oh, there it is. I, w I was not a huge fan of the mega evolution for Gardevoir. Really? To me, it doesn't look that different. They made it all poofy. The yeah, dust clops. Well, first. I was trying to run into the dust skull. Yeah. Oh, dust then... skull. Fucking Bronzor got in the way. <laughs> I really love Dust Skull's design. I like Dust Skull, and then I like Dusk Noir, but I don't love Dust Clops for whatever reason. Hmm. I, I just think the other two designs are cleaner. Um, That's I, fair. I really like this idea that like there's just like a little orb in his mask, like behind his mask. That's really cute. Rude. Check out Dusk Noir. Or Dusk. Fuck. Dusk Skull. It's pretty cute. And Dusk Noir, I think, was an evolution that was added in this game also. Generation 4 really is one of my favorites. They just, like, they took a lot of good 
fun Pokemon that weren't necessarily like super competitive and were like, we're just gonna give them new evolutions. Um, I think it was like a precursor to how they handled Megas, but they did this better than they did Megas, if that makes sense. So, uh, my problem with Gen 4 is they really did not do a good job with balancing the types. Like, the fact that even their fire specialists can't even have a full fire team. In, oh, you yeah, for the single player, yeah. Um, Megas, I... I think I would like Megas better if um, there was some sort of equivalent for all of the Pokemon. Instead of just, I know Duskull. What nice. Comes? All right. Honestly, well, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't mind Duskull being like a, a, a second stringer, someone we pull in when we need it, because I, I do love Duskull. What are we calling him? Uh, Dusty? Dusty Baker? Okay. I got nothing. Inventor Dusty. of the high five. What? Dusty Baker. The Cincinnati Reds coach. He invented the high five. Well, I was curious about in the Indigo League anime. Yeah, so it was Bulbasaur. <laughs> he caught a Charmander, which evolved into Charmeleon and Charizard. He mm -hmm. caught a Squirtle, which I believe so evolved into Wartortle. Did he just get all starter Pokemon essentially? Um, from every every. Not after not after this season. In the first season, he got all the starters, and I think that was a director decision because they didn't want kids to feel like, oh, the protagonist didn't pick my Pokemon. Okay. Um, he caught a Krabby, which evolved into Kingler. He caught a Caterpie, which evolved into Metapod and Butterfree, and then Butterfree found a girlfriend and left the team. Nice. Um, he caught a Muck. He caught a Snorlax. He caught 30 Tauros. Why so many? Um, I'd have to look up the episode. It, I think that episode never aired in America because it involved the Safari Zone and poachers and people had guns in it. Um, he caught, oh, oh, down here it's got caught and released. Um, he caught a primate that is no longer with the team, but is in training. Um, yeah, he caught... yeah, Houndoom. <sighs> so, um, if we, if our dude is named Dean, what's our lady's name? Diane. Who's James Dean's girlfriend? Oh, I named him after Dean Winchester. Uh, I don't know that James Dean Sam? ever had Samantha? a girlfriend. Samantha? No. Dean and Sam? I just liked Lady I mean, Doom. Lady Doom? Yeah. Maybe we could charten it to Lady. Lady. Or yeah. Lady D. He also had a Lapras and a Seeking. So he didn't have all that many Pokemon. Okay. I didn't think he did. I was just curious. I just kind of remember Pikachu being his starter. Yeah. And that's the way it tends to go. Um, oh, I think he caught Eradicate that he traded away. Mm -hmm. He he doesn't like the... the Gotta catch them all is like the catchphrase of the show starting out, but Ash is really his journey is more on the trainer side than like filling out the Pokedex side of things. Gotcha. Hey! hey! Come on. So you mentioned only male routes can evolve into Gallade. Um, ooh, it has Trace. If if it's male, you said it could still evolve into Gardevoir, potentially. Yeah. How do you determine that? Like, how does the game determine which one it's going to turn into? Um, Gallade requires a shiny stone. Ah, gotcha. 
I do like his Rude. little helmet. It's like a bowl cut. Mm -hmm. And in fact, when I first saw Routes, I thought it was a weird, like, um, grass type, because I thought it was like some sort of mushroom. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not the case at all. It was originally Psychic, and now it's Psychic Fairy. It was introduced uh, in Gen 3. Okay. Uh, you help a young trainer, well, a young kid uh, named Wally who's been sick his entire life um, and is about to move to a brand new town. Um, you help him catch one. And then he becomes a stronger trainer over time. Oh, is he does like that's kind of cool. Is that your rival in that game? No, actually. Uh he is well, sort of. He's a he's a trainer that shows up pretty regularly. He is not technically the rival. Gotcha. I realized right. Nom Nom doesn't really have any effective moves to use. Oh, dang. Not body slam. Well, Throw Pokeballs till I catch it. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> Trace isn't a hey. terrible ability. So hey! hey. <laughs> Trace isn't a terrible ability, so we'll roll with it. Well, and like you mentioned, if you're gonna breed a Houndoom, I guess we don't have a I, Ditto yet. Yeah, that's why I needed a female Houndoom. Yeah. So, what are we calling our? I feel like a Mage themed name would be. At perfect for him. A mage? Mage themed name. Mage themed. I don't know if I know a mage themed name. Wizards. Oh. I think that's what he mean. You mean like a wizard yeah. name? Yeah. Yeah, basically. Okay. I like Marlin. Well, sweet. Nice. So we did catch a Routes, and we did it this episode. And we caught a female Houndoon. Yes. So we're going to... And off screen next to the breeding. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're going to call this an episode here, and we'll start the next one. And I think we've got our party kind of finalized. Were there any yeah. other changes you want to make? I'm not fully sold on Nom Nom, but... What about Dustclops instead? We're kind of heavy on special, but let's let's roll with it. Let's let's embrace it. What else we got in here? We got Chansey. Dusty Baker. Dusty's back. Dusty's on the team. Off the bench. All right. We're going to call this an episode. And when we start the next one, I think, are we going back to do story stuff? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Thanks for playing with us, everyone. Thanks, everyone. See you next time.